Welcome to Tuesday's English Acorns. Okay, so there's been a bit of a disaster today. I've had a phone call from Mauser and you won't believe what's happened, but Mouse Hall Village has actually ran out of fish. So as you can probably guess, Mauser is not impressed because fish is his favourite dish. So what he's actually done, he's asked if we could help out, okay? He's asked if there's any way that we can prepare a menu and some dishes with the fish that we've actually got in school and at home, okay? So, I'm hoping you all agree to this and you all can help because I know you're very helpful and we like to help people out. So, what we're going to do is help Mauser. So, I've had a little chat with some parents and I've had a chat with um, Bethan at school and she's told me what items that we've got that we can create a menu from, okay? So, we've got tuna we've got salmon we've got haddock and we've got fish fingers and we've got prawns so we're going to use these five items okay to create our own menu okay you might find that your parents have been out and got some extra fish so you might have some extra dishes that you could include okay so what we're going to do is first of all we need to collect some language to describe them and then we're going to use the same structure as what's in the book to create our own menu for Malza, okay? So we're going to do it for days of the week. And we're going to use the fish that we've been given, okay? So let's have a look. I know at the minute that tuna, tuna doesn't look very appetising. It does look a bit boring there. But remember, we're going to cook it and we're going to add our own ingredients. And we're going to make it extremely tasty, Okay? So how could we describe the fish that we've been given? Okay, so what, what your first task I want you to do is to look at the, the images and I want you to describe what you can see or maybe what you're going to do with those fish. So think about some cooking, ways of cooking the fish, okay? So you might boil it, you might steam it, you might fry it, you might grill it. That's all descriptive language of how we can describe our fish. You might choose to serve it with different vegetables, different potatoes. You can come up with your own vegetables and potatoes. All that I've given you is a fish that we've got that we can use, okay? You might choose to add honey. Glazed honey, that's a nice word. Okay, you might use to sprinkle salt and pepper on it. You might have some fantastic ideas, which I'm sure you have, okay? So first of all... We can look in the book, we can pinch, so a magpie, some ideas. We can we can have smoked tuna, okay? We can have mashed potato that's golden or fluffy. I like my mashed potato fluffy, so that's probably how I would cook it. Golden and fluffy, okay? You might have fresh fish. You might have grilled fish. And hopefully it's all mouth-watering, Okay? You might have fried. So look here at this page. I will put a copy of this page on the website so you can look at it and collect some language. And then have a go at just quickly doing a mind map of words that you can use to describe the fish. So I've done mouth-watering, which I've, I have magpied because that's a really good word to use. We've got fresh, juicy, scrumptious, delicious, crispy, tasty. There's so many words that you can come up with, okay? You might have spectacular fish, okay? You might choose to do an Eiffel Tower shaped, a prawn Eiffel shaped tower, okay? You might do a fish finger stacker and you might stash all your, you might stack all the fish fingers up and call it a fish finger stacker, okay? Think of some really, really good ideas of what you can do, okay? So your first task is look at the image, Think about what you're going to do, what's going to be on your menu, and then and then describe it, okay? So, collect some descriptive language, and then you're going to start your menu, okay? So, first of all, what I want you to do is to come up with a name for your menu. Okay, I've used some alliteration there, you've hope, hopefully noticed. So, Miss Pilling's Peculiar Picks. And that is going to be the name of my menu that I create for Mauser, okay? So remember, alliteration is when you describe it 
and you use words that begin with the same letter, so peculiar picks, okay? Right, so I've got here, and I've, I've used some of the ideas that I've put in my word map. So on Mondays, they made steamed tuna with crispy green beans. Okay, so I've used the structure from the book. Okay, so that's what I want you to do. I want you to follow the structure to do your menu. Okay, on Tuesdays, they grilled fish fingers that had a tasty lemon scent. Okay, so you might choose to use some of these ideas and that's completely fine. But what, you, what I want you to do is obviously continue the menu. I've only modelled two parts of it, okay? And hopefully that's given you en enough ideas. Remember to use the book for ideas and the menu. And I really look forward to reading your menus. What you might want to do is do a nice design around your menu. And here we've got a couple of patterns. You might want to do it and have a nice patterns all around it. You might have fish around it, you might have vegetables, depending what you put in your menu. And then hopefully, we might actually get the opportunity to cook some of your dishes at school. Or you might get to do some at home if you ask your parents. If you do, make sure you send me a picture, okay? Because I would love to see it. Okay, so good luck. And I really do look forward to seeing your menus. I'm really excited about today's activity.